Yeah. I think it's more important to talk to him yeah. than to have me talk about what Minnesota didn't do. The big fella with the big dunks. Hey, Daniel, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time, man. Yeah, I look, appreciate I'm it. Excited to be on here with y'all, man. But you know what? It's a great honor right here. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're excited, but not nearly as excited as you were on the floor there in the closing minutes. Yeah. Uh, take me, take me through that stretch when you guys broke the tie. Part of that was. Part of that was a bucket for me. A part of it was a huge block. Part of it was the big jam on the other end. So tell me what it was like in those last closing moments of this game for Dallas. Uh, really just trying to stay poised, in all honesty, trying to stay together, you know, be be a team to just kind of like fight through adversity. There was a lot of stuff that was thrown at us. You know, we was fighting through a lot of physicality stuff. At the end of the day, we just had to, you know, be a better team when it came to just like the mentality of the game throughout the stretch, like play by play. You know, I have a question. You guys are probably, I say, the best. Hey, number three, number two. Lob. Number two said he had a question. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Shaq. No, I didn't hear you. Go ahead. I didn't hear you, Shaq. My go bad. Ahead. My no, bad. No, go Shaq, go ahead. Go ahead, Shaq. I play with guys that really didn't touch the ball a lot. Yep. They didn't play as hard and as motivating as you. Do you have a conversation with Luke and Kyrie? Like, hey, just let me eat it because, again, you guys don't get a lot of play call, but you guys are active. You're rebounding. You're getting lobs. I mean, What's that like? Um, just as a youngin, you know, I used to always try to take the game, you know, try to just like force everything at the end of the day. You know, I, I learned patience a long time ago. So just kind of like being in the position that I'm in, you know, I just want to get those guys downhill and I clean up whatever it is on the back end at the end of the day. You know, I'm not necessarily always one of the guys that's making the decisions, you know, play by play. But, you know, just having poise and just whenever the ball is in my hands, just making that right decision is just something I'm always prepared for. So, like I said, I just let the game come to me. I don't try to force anything. You know, I try to put a lot of love into the game because it puts love back to me at the end of the day. Yeah, if I got one for you. Um, so you spent most of your career in Chicago yep. and Washington, mm -hmm. two teams that hasn't played winning basketball since Wes Unsell and Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. And you... Damn, Wes Unsell. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> and you and P.J. Washington come on this team, mm -hmm. both coming from losing situations. Mm -hmm. And y'all are lifting this team into yep. a title contender. What's that adjustment being like of walking in 82 nights, pretty much think you're going to lose the game, and now coming in every game knowing that you have a chance to win? I mean, I think it's big because we were already in a situation to where we were already humble. You know, we weren't expecting to just come in and just, you know, score 30, score 40. You know, we were coming in with two, two of the best guys on the floor, which is Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. And we were just having to be in our spots at the right time, just doing our job at the end of the day. That's what we were told when we got here, and we've been doing that ever since. It, you know, PJ, number one, you're doing a hell of a job. Or Daniel. PJ, oh, Daniel. He came over with PJ. <laughs> PJ. Okay, but you no, can call him Daniel. No, you know, I'm my bad. So, so, so what's crazy is <laughs> you remind me of me. What I mean that is not as a player, you're mm -hmm. a hell of a player. But I had a lot of dark days when I was in Philadelphia. Yeah. I'd be sitting in my hotel room saying, damn, I ain't no good as a basketball <laughs> player. And I was like, I, I sit there, and I'm not even going to fake it. I cry some I'm like, I'm no good as a player. Maybe yeah. I think I'm better than I am. <laughs> and then I got traded to the Suns. I'm like, damn, I can play. Did you have any of those nights? You know, Dre asked, asked a question. Did you have some nights where you're sitting around like, can I play? Yeah, for sure. Especially like my first year and a half. You know, I, I went through the ups and downs. I wanted to be better than what I was playing. And I felt like I didn't take advantage of a lot of stuff that was given to me. You know, not the resources when it came to just like the league in general. I was still young, still trying to learn stuff. I'm a country boy from the South, so I really didn't have as much. I'm from a town called El Dorado, Arkansas. It wasn't really nothing too much down there. You know, I'm from a small neighborhood called Hagen Hill. Uh -huh. You know, so. Shout out to Hagen Hill. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them. Hey, what's man. that logo? What's that logo? Hagen Hill, what? I, I don't even, what's crazy is I don't even know the logo. They done changed it up so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, in all, all honesty, you know, like I said, it, it was just humbling, you know, just to go through that experience and just kind of like work my way from the ground up because I felt like that's just one of the things that I had to just take that next step to. It helped me mentally. It helped me physically. It just helped me just hold myself accountable in each and every way. And I thank everybody that's been, you know, behind me, pushing me to be, be able to be in a situation like this. You know, I give all glory to God because I wouldn't be here without nobody. You know, I wouldn't be here without nobody at all. Well, Daniel, <laughs> I'll call you by your name. <laughs> yeah, it, it, really, you guys have become probably the best lob team in basketball. Mm between yourself and Lively. My question is, was it something practice or was it something that just came in a field of a game and just continued? Because that would be interesting to know. I mean, it, it just came naturally at the end of the day. You know, we two big targets when it comes to those guys getting downhill, like Luca, Kyrie, pretty much whatever guard we get downhill setting a good screen, it's always automatic. As long as we get the big to help and make a decision, we got pretty much any, all the time in the world to just put the ball in the hoop. You guys are on 3-0. 
a little bit tonight you guys played happy. How do you avoid a letdown playing happy? You know, I, I mean, what was the message said in the locker room by Jason Kidd? Because, you know, listen, being up 3-0, it's, it's mm -hmm. good to go out tonight, hang out tonight. You know, we got this game. But how do you stay focused on, uh, you know, getting, getting, getting the job done? No, honestly, we can enjoy this till midnight and be ready for the next one. Hey, That's just like the main message. I just want to say this to you. It's the only suit I got. I got one more suit. Don't make me see this thing again in Minnesota. But I, I'm not going back home. This is, I'm going to have the same suit on if y'all go to game five. Get this thing over. Got you. That's understandable. I got you. Uh, how's your guy Derek Lively doing? Uh, from what I from what I heard, he's doing good. I think they just took him somewhere to go see kind of like how his neck he is. He took really, a shot, man. Yeah, that was, he, took, he took a big blow. no but, joke. You know, next man up. I feel like Dwight Powell, he came in and he did the things that he needed to do. You know, so we for sure kind of like made sure we – Filled that gap uh, where he had left open for us. You know, he took like he like you said, he took a, a real big blow in the back of the head. It was tough. Gav, you've you've been great, um, and people's been trying to make a thing about you in the pocket, and yeah. I, and they're saying Lively's better. Mm -hmm. Lively's great in the pocket. I don't have a question. I just want to give you something. Okay. Anytime you catch the ball in the pocket and you're not comfortable going forward, yeah. you got DHO that way to the guard on that side, yep. you got uphill back to the guy that just passed you. Then it puts you in a road situation, you're getting dunked. Gotcha. So if you feel uncomfortable with that, just know you can go to that. And I think you've been doing a great job. It's beautiful to see you playing with gotcha. the basketball. I appreciate it. I appreciate Draymond it. Van Gundy, okay. <laughs> hey, which, which, Draymond Van Gundy. Quit stealing my stuff, man. Look, I, I'll take, I'll I'll take as much as I can, man. Thank you all so Shout much. Shout out to Hagen Hill. Hill. You see us, Hagen hey. Hill. <laughs> That's El Dorado, Arkansas, man. Hey. Hey. How close here. is that to Magnolia? Thank you, man. Appreciate 30 you. minutes? 30 minutes? Yeah. One of like my best friends shot. from Magnolia. Oh, really? You, you a lot know? of cows and chickens in the yard down there. <laughs> Fact, you know, that's all it is down there. <laughs> I know you're from a small town when you name the nearest biggest town there. I'm, I'm next. I live near Magnolia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's hey, I'm, from, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. I can't say much. <laughs> we oh, we appreciate you, Daniel. Thank yes, you sir. so much. Thank you all for so much. Time and congratulations on a 3 nothing lead. For sure. Thank you all. One win away from going Work, to the guy. NBA yeah. Finals. Appreciate y'all. Don't let me see you at the spot tonight. Go home. <laughs> Go home, big dog. That's right, Tino. And you do fine. I feel just Jenna. like Mr. Gaffer do. And so that's like a tweet, Jenna. Hey, Matthew Soprano, you are right, brother. I, you know what? Don't I, you miss I, Jenna. Hey, Cole, <laughs> there Jack. it is. Monopoly, the Monopoly <laughs> chance card. Hey, Jenna, send us a tweet, Jenna. Hey, Jenna, I should, I should, I should start practicing now. Four! <laughs> <laughs>